What's going on, everybody? It's Frito here for your Overwatch. This time, we're going to be breaking down Mercy, who's back in the meta in a big way after a few changes to her, as well as competing supports in the healer category. Mercy is one of the most underappreciated characters in all of Overwatch because like Winston, her mobility gives her an opportunity to make big plays that may not show up on the kill feed, but do in positioning, in timing, in teamwork. And mastering Mercy is mastering her ability to get around the map and to be where she needs to be at the correct time. Now, sometimes when you're playing solo queue, you can get in a horrific situation where it seems that no matter what you do, the entire team is letting you down. I understand that. There's a reason why Mercy has one of the worst win rates in the entirety of Overwatch is because it requires teamwork. When you have res up, you have to tell your team to die on point, die together so that you can fly in and get huge value in your res and get them all up at once. If you have to keep splitting off as a team and you're playing really uncoordinated and you only can get one or two here or there, and for whatever reason, I wasn't able to reach up to that third player and I ran out of time, they were about to be on respawn anyway. And if you can't get at least three players on a res, it probably isn't going to have that big swing factor in overwhelming the enemy team. That's the whole point of resurrection, not to just get a single member back up, but instead make a huge wave of respawn that can cause the enemy team to crumble under your numbers advantage. That's the goal. And it's that level of coordination with the team that is difficult to pull off if you're playing in solo queue and no one's communicating. She definitely is the type of character that you're going to need to make some calls on and get on the mic in order to get the value and big play opportunity. Otherwise, there's a high risk, high reward factor with playing with Mercy. Oftentimes, she is the most valuable life in the entire map. A good team is going to prioritize you above all else so you need to make yourself scarce you need to be behind your team or to be away from the action as soon as action flows one way towards your team you need to pivot your positioning either behind them or at an off angle that makes it inconvenient for the other team to dive you and that is the footsie battle of mercy whereas other characters might play a footsie battle in order to get into a favorable engagement mercy is constantly playing a footsie battle to stay away from the main engagement so that if the enemy team has to prioritize you, it's at a high positioning risk. As the fight shifts from being on the top level to the payload, I fly upstairs to heal my team. And though Mercy doesn't have a high requirement for aim, the timing and positioning battle is just as important as, say, a Reinhardt. So as I notice, I'm starting to take some heat and I have my ultimate in my pocket. I don't want to lose that value. I want to get my team to coordinate on the point, and I attempt to make a play with this conversation with my team. They start to engage in a fight on the payload. They get a bit more split up than I'd like. Really, I want them to just force the engagement, go for frags, whether they win or lose, hopefully drawing out ultimates from the other team because Mercy's ultimate acts as a nullification to enemy team's ultimates. Because if you think of the algebra of how it works, is that they ult, wipe your team, likely requiring an ult stack with two or three ultimates. Your team doesn't ult, but you fly in, resurrect them, they have ults in their pockets, all of a sudden the team fight swings in your favor, and Mercy makes a big play. Now, the opposite of that happened just there, where... My team was too skittish on the fight, kind of trickled their deaths, they didn't really engage fully, and I flew in to try to make a pincer on the ramp so we'd be on both sides, resurrected them, we still lost the fight because they had Graviton in their pocket, but at least we finally forced that ult out. Now already, we move to the next point and I have half of my ultimate charge back. Even though they did nerf Mercy's ult charge, since she heals more now, it stands to reason that her ult charges faster than it used to to begin with. As my teammates get in skirmishes on the map and take damage on the upper levels, I stay behind the Rhine to stay safe myself, but then fly back not to the main point of attack, which is on the left side and the outside of this plane, but to the right side of it, so I can constantly stay at an off angle from being attacked. Furthermore, you can really abuse the length of the beam of her staff. Try to familiarize yourself with how far it can be. Stand as far as possible before it breaks and, and get familiar with that, because Mercy, who's backed away in a hole, healing something is a terrifying thing for the enemy team. They can't really feasibly expect themselves to even win a fight on that character, whether they're getting shielded by Reinhardt or not. 
Now to develop these principles further, I might need more examples of gameplay so I can play Mercy more and give you more play-by-play -play thought process to how I go about making these decisions, but Mercy has a simplistic skill set, but all of her plays that she creates are in a case-by-case -case basis. You have to weigh the opportunity and the positioning of your team and try to stay alive as long as possible. Oftentimes, the life of a Mercy can be a bit hectic and stressful because if enemy team's smart, they know how much value you hold in your kit and they're going to focus you down. But try to be strong through all that because Mercy's one of the most important and beloved characters on your team if you play her right. Nothing can boost morale more for your team to always be topped off on health and to feel like they always have their healer present when they need them. Or if they catch themselves in a bad engagement, it's all of a sudden flipped into a good engagement because you have your ult ready, fly in at the right time, and revive them all. I can go into more depth and examples for you Mercy players in future videos, but these are the basic ideas for you to understand and develop. Let me know in the comment section if you would like me to do that. If you enjoyed the video, please hit the like button. We upload each and every day, so you're going to want to hit subscribe for more. That's been it for me. I've been Frito for your Overwatch. I'll see you guys next time.